Hello and welcome. You're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the most important headlines of the day. Let's begin. First, as always, the COVID-19 updates. India added nearly 43,000 fresh infections of coronavirus in the last 24 hours, taking the country's COVID-19 tally near to the 80 lakh mark. The government has said that there has been a steady decline in the number of daily COVID-19 deaths for the past five weeks. At least 508 people lost their lives due to COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Kerala has been the largest contributor in terms of the daily COVID cases for the fifth consecutive day. Millions of Indians have downloaded the Aroke Setu app, which is a contact tracing app, as pushed by the centre as a crucial tool in the fight against COVID-19. However, quite contrary to what is mentioned on the Aroke Setu website, the National Informatics Centre and the Ministry of Information Technology have denied any knowledge of creating the application in response to an RTI. Meanwhile, the Central Information Commission has issued a notice to the Centre for evasive answers on who created the Aroge Setu app. The National Investigation Agency or the NIA has launched a major crackdown on terror funding and has conducted raids across several NGOs and journalists across 10 locations in Kashmir and one in Bengaluru. The NIA claims that terror operations were being funded by sourcing funds from foreign countries and institutions in the name of religion, social work and business. Facebook executive Anki Das, whose name emerged in a recent controversy over alleged bias by the social networking giant in dealing with hate speeches, has resigned from her post. Anki Das' resignation comes just weeks after the company and she faced immense criticism, not just from the internal employees but also from the Indian government over how the social media giant manages political content. Australian Foreign Minister has claimed that women on as many as 10 flights were subjected to appalling physical examination. Now, the Qatar Emirates was already under the scanner after several reports emerged that showed that women on a Sydney-bound Qatar Airways flight were strip-searched and were asked to undergo vaginal inspection on 2nd of October. The inspection was conducted after a newborn baby was found abandoned at the airport. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.